Hi folks, it's John Neisman, LastChanceAutoStore.com and we're standing here on one of the uh, engine test stands that we have here at our restoration facility. We made this engine test stand, so after we build an engine um, and everything comes back together or is reassembled, what the guys like to do is set it up on this portable station, hook everything up, um, add the break-in oil, start the engine, run it and that's when we cure the paint uh, we check for any leaks or any vacuum leaks we, we tune and set the carbs on them to get them fairly close and then all the fine tuning is done inside the vehicle so we find here at last chance it saves a lot of time and grief later on because what this does is eliminates the fear of doing the work on the engine thinking everything is correct you go through all the work of putting it into the vehicle hooking everything up, you start it, you find there's an oil leak or there's a vacuum leak or there's a concern, what we really are afraid of doing is having to pull the whole drive line back out of the vehicle, make the repairs and then put it back in again. So everything is done in-house with the exception of the machining. So for example, if we're going to be boring, uh, say 30 over for the pistons in the block, we send it out, but we disassemble the whole engine we send the components to the machine shop that need to be done and then we, we bring everything back to our shop and everything is assembled, detailed and painted here in house at our facility. So basically what I wanted to do, normally this engine's already been broken in. This is a, a small block Chev. It has roughly double the horsepower of what it did originally. So they, roughly, what was the horsepower on a 74 small block Corvette? 160. So roughly 160 horsepower and doing pistons, cam, and so on, what are we at now, ballpark? Open for 310. So roughly we got 300 to 310 horse. So there's a lot you can do with these small blocks. Now we don't have a dyno to verify exactly, but probably 305 to 310 horse is probably a safe number. So normally what we do is we have exhaust pipes that we set outside when we start it up, it's still fairly loud, but the fumes and so on go out. But for the purpose of the video, we'll just um, we'll start the engine up and uh, just show you what it's like um, starting an engine on a test stand. So as I mentioned earlier, it's already broken in. Uh, we have gauges here. We've got the main key. We have a tack, oil pressure, and temperature. So we have gauges, and we are all set up here. So Nate's just going to fire this engine up and you can see what it, uh, what it looks and sounds like. through the microphone of what it really sounds like because it's quite loud in the shop and it resonates pretty good. So once again, this is a, a small block Chev, one of the many engines that uh, the guys built here at lastchanceautostore.com and thank you for watching.